Hey boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm for Classic and welcome to Benchard. So for today what I do have in here is Tell Me Why, a game developed by the Don't Not Entertainment and it is using Unreal Engine 4. So I decided to give it a try with the Intel HD 620. Alright, and I'm using dual channel memory, so it's pretty much two modules of 16 gigs. Uh, which have a total of 32 gigs of RAM. So I know it's a lot, but even if you have 16 gigs of RAM in dual channel, you will get the same performance. So don't, don't be scared with the amount of RAM that I have in here. All right, so what can I tell? Uh, tell me why it is a game from Don't Not, like I did told you. The Don't Not are the developers of Life is Strange 1 and Life is Strange 2, which are very story-driven games. And so Tell Me Why follows pretty much the same concept. All right. Don't Not, it is also the developer behind two other different games, which is Vampire, which is the most recent one. And we have a older one, which was Remember Me. Those two are a kind of RPG and Akon slash games so it's very different than the story driven game despite the, the team it is actually the same all right so since we want to know in here what settings i'm using to play the game and we want to talk a little bit about the performance i decided to just skip away at this sequence and show you already the settings that i'm playing the game so this is the graphical settings of the game it is pretty much equal to any other Unreal Engine 4 game and as you can see I'm using 720p median settings with the only thing being on low it is the 3D rendering quality that is pretty much the resolution scaling or the render scale so putting on low it reduces the internal resolution scaling of the game which is pretty much the same thing of reducing the resolution. So looking to the minimum requirements of the game, I don't see any information regarding the Intel HD graphic card, but what I do see is that the game asks for a minimum of 4 gigs of RAM, which I don't recommend you to go with if you have an Intel HD graphic card, since the, the RAM needs to be shared uh, for the usage of the integrated card. So what happens really is that you need to have 8 gigabytes of RAM at least for this game in dual channel. So uh, this is the result that I did got. I tried the game with 720, uh, 720p low settings and the average was actually pretty good with an average of 63 frames per second with a 1% low of 23. But playing on median with the render scale on low provides a worse average but the minimums are very similar and I do honestly prefer to play on median with the render scale on low because the low settings it isn't that entirely bad but it loses a lot of elements that I consider to be essential for this type of game. So first of all you lose dynamic shadows. So it might not be a big deal for you but th there are many scenes that makes use of shadows uh, to create certain atmospheres all right, and it is a big loss if you don't have them. Also, you get access to a better depth of field effect, and which is very important in my opinion, because that on, during the cutscenes, there are a lot of focus into the faces of the characters, and without of depth of field, it doesn't get the same effect, you know, it looks a little bit weird. And also textures, it is a huge revamp when going from low to median. It is quite noticeable in small objects. Another big difference it is in the anti-aliasing, which on the low preset it is an existence. Everything looks very jagged all over the place. While with median anti-aliasing, the game makes, uses of, makes use of TAA at the median settings. So all the jaggies just go away with the excellent implementation of TAA, which Unreal Engine 4 uh, uses. So what happens really with, with the performance of the game is that it is not always consistent 30 frames per second and as you can see in here the open wild areas of the game that are outside of buildings usually tend to drop from 30 frames per second quite often depending how detailed the scene is although when you are inside interiors like houses or small rooms the game tends to perform pretty much at the double of the frame rate that you get from outside. So it's a very variable frame rate. But I'm not really very concerned with that because, again, this is a story driven game. 
you won't be kind of aiming at the enemies or you don't really need quick reflections you just need to explore the map as uh, watch cut scenes and take decisions and do puzzles all right so it's not really a big deal if you get frame rates under 30 frames per second it would be better if we would get at least 30 but the reality is that not even at the low settings you get above 30 frames per second in those demanding situations so that's why i do recommend you to go with median settings because if you are going to drop below 30 frames per second at least drop it with style getting shadows getting anti-aliasing getting depths of field and getting all the effects that you do deserve and the game at median settings it looks pretty good so i don't think that i'm losing anything aside from some frame rate all right so, but what about the game? What is this game? This tell me why. So, like I told you, this is pretty much like Life is Strange. It follows the same concepts, you still have the same powers. Well, in case of Life is Strange, you were able to revert the time in the first game. I didn't play the second one, so I'm sorry, I'm not really sure what are the powers that we have. In this game, you kind of share the same thoughts with your sister in here. And this is quite interesting because you both of you con can communicate uh, by minds, share, alright? But there is also other powers which both of you can see memories of your past and in the end your choices uh, in the game uh, will be done by those memories because, for example, at some points you will be forced to choose between one memory or other memory and this, depending on the memory that you did choose it will affect the rest of the story so it's a little bit like butterfly effect uh, movie but yeah in this case it is inside a transgender character because this transgender character that i'm talking about in here it is tyler which is a character which you play with I'm not really a fan of developers and publishers trying to force us into lgbt but I'm on it anyway because uh, Don't Not usually does good stories and I'm not the only one saying this. Metacritic have a, a respectable score for this game around 80 or close to 80. Uh, Steam users are very satisfied with the game uh, having a, a score above 90%. So the game it is very very well optimized. I know that the graphics aren't really that thing special. But still it is a huge revamp over Life is Strange 2 anyway and it performs really great. Uh, voice acting it is also pretty good. Soundtracks, well I don't even need to talk about it because Life is Strange always was remarkable in soundtrack and this game it is no different. And gameplay, like I told you, it follows the same thing as Life is Strange so you know what to expect from this game anyway. And that's about it. So this game costs $29.99 on Steam. So I think it is a good price. This game will be free episodes. For now the only episode available at the time of this video is the first episode. But contrary to Life is Strange where episodes were kind of um, having a gap of months between them. In this game the gaps are just one week. Which is to interiorize or to make you think about the game and what happened in the first episode and after one week they release the second episode so you are going to finish the second episode with the things that you did remember with the first episode so i think it is quite interesting to release in episodes when the gap it is small and the difference from the life is strange is that in life is strange you needed to buy the game by episode so you needed to buy episode one and then you could buy the complete pack or you needed to buy the episode two or episode three now this doesn't really work like that so at the moment if you buy the game through steam the game will cost you 29.99 but you get the full game immediately the only thing that you don't get at the moment it is access to the episode two and episode three but like i did told you next week you will have the episode 2 available and on the other next week you will have the episode 3. Alternatively you can um, you can join Xbox Game Pass which is what I have done. I, I pay monthly 4 euros for Xbox Game Pass and I immediately got access to the full game. So it's a good alternative a good alternative if you don't want to, to pay 29.99 for the full game and you just want to finish the game one time you can subscribe to xbox game pass 
finish the three episodes and you still have the time and the availability of playing other games like Gears Tactics, Forza Horizon, Gears of War and many many other titles inside Xbox Game Pass. So guys I think that's all I'm going to leave you with a little bit of gameplay. Keep in mind that this will be very spoiler-ish since it's impossible to play this game without giving spoilers. I just decided to go all on with the spoilers alright. So guys think about for watching and I do hope to you to enjoy the rest of the video and I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye. Coming. Are you okay? I'll live. Good to hear your voice again. Yeah, same here. So, coming in or what? Just working up to it. Tyler. What? Look. What? Where did you find that? It was on her desk with her papers. Seriously? Are you fucking kidding me? Look, we gotta be really careful not to overthink this. It doesn't make any sense. She, she was mad, right? She was mad at I, I cut my hair. She attacked me because I cut my hair. She was mad and she attacked you. We both saw it. Then what is this shit? I don't know. I don't know. Tyler, come here. She can't do this to me. Not now, when I've finally made sense of a few things. Well, that was your first mistake. Thinking the world made any kind of sense. Ten years in the grave, and she's still finding new ways to piss us off. Yeah. I think I need some air. Are you really, really sure? I am. Do it. Okay. Uh... 
Here we go. <laughs> Is it all gone? Yeah. It, it looks amazing. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to show mom. She's been so sad lately. More than sad. She's been scary. Yeah, but not tonight though. It was almost like a party. <gasps> Thank you, Allison. You don't have to thank me. You're my sister. I feel more like, like your brother. Brother, sister, we look out for each other. But I'm pretty sure I just gave you a really bad haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong. This is all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> 